stairs are not typically made this way uh, in engineering class. I would say that most people would say that this isn't going to work for very long, especially if you're making a whole building like that. Probably going to be a problem. Oh, yeah, that was fucking creepy. I like that. That was cool. Uh, how come the light ain't working? There. Shut up in there. Oh, I can see an outline of him now. It probably wouldn't come out on recording. That's cool. Oh, oh fuck. Okay. Uh, that actually made me jump. I like it. I look just like Daniel Craig. What a prick. Hell yeah. So this is a camera looking down. Looks like a person standing in the dark right there. I like this. This so far, this is fun. I like this. This is nice. Oh, it's got a book now. Dare I look up? Yeah, the eyes are floating now. Objective. Get out. Okay, so I've got the book. Peace out, homie. Nah, I think I'll go in here for a little while. I can't wait to try out From the Darkness. What's up, baby? This is your boy, Protodad, coming back at you with another Let's Try Out video. Today, we're going to be trying out a game called From the Darkness. And this is a small, indie, cheapo sort of horror game. I think it's a first-person walking simulator, possibly. Um, but we're going to just try it out and see what it's like. From the Darkness. Uh, let's see if we can get scared on this one. Forgive me if my voice is a little tight and crackly. I think I'm getting sick. So we're just going to hit play, I guess, and just see what happens, because I don't think there was any options. I really don't think there's any options. What the fuck? If I hit, if I hit escape button, my dude still turns his head around? Okay. So, yeah, this is, like, apparently a super uh, cheapo sort of game. Uh, I like the way it looks so far. Kind of real floaty and dreamlike. Can't change any settings. Can't change any objective. Get to the 64th apartment of the deceased grandfather. Okay, 64. Oh, I got legs. Hey, cool. So, we're what? We're on the fourth floor now? Is that what it is? So, 43, 44. Okay, so I can move fast with shift. What's the point of this? I don't go to very many apartment buildings, but what the fuck is that supposed to be? That little space there. Yeah, I do like how this looks. I wonder what engine, game engine this is. Okay, so right click will zoom in. I wonder if this is a lot like uh, Amnesia. I've n I haven't played that. Uh, I haven't recorded that. I need to probably do that sometime soon. Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Stairs are not typically made this way uh, in engineering class. I would say that most people would say that this isn't going to work for very long, especially if you're making a whole building like that. Probably going to be a problem. So this says two on it. Certainly this isn't floor two. Maybe it is. Okay. I just heard a noise. Light going on and off. Getting 100 frames. Okay. Can I interact with the switch a little bit, kind of, sort of? Cool. Look around the corner. Am I getting scared yet? No. Four. So now we're on the fourth floor. What happened to three? What happened to two? So we're on the fifth floor. Hey! Can I crouch? Is there a crouch? I'm hitting all the buttons. I don't see, and there isn't... I can't read what that says back there. Massive stutters. Massive stutters now. I like the sound design. I like the way it looks, you know? Like, uh, whoever did this 
concrete texture on the side, like really cold. I like it. So we're looking for 64. I mean, isn't that what it told me to do? 64? Okay, yes, it is. So it is like amnesia. So you got to left click. What the hell? You got to left click uh, and drag. No, I thought I had to left click and drag. I was just standing in front of the door like a fucking doofus. So yeah, we're going to open the door for the final time now that we've figured that part out. Oh, so this is a Russian game. That's in Russian. That's all Cyr Cyrillic and shit. Great, I stumbled my way into another Russian game. Okay, so hey, dear neighbors, if you don't start making noise at night, I will call the police, I imagine he says. I like how they did it on graph paper. I like that, and that's cool. And it's got some oil stains on there. Open the damn door. The apartment has been long abandoned. Okay. No electricity. Oh, come on. How the fuck am I supposed to get around without being able to see? So here's a key. Now what? Okay. Oh, some golden star bomb. Just like in Tarkov. I can rub it on my lips and get pain, you know, relief for a little while. Uh, I got a key, so what does that mean? So does that go to this door? Oh, and I can't leave now, so I'm trapped in here. There we go. Key goes to this. Um, I'm going to flip that one up. I guess I gotta flip both of these up, huh? Sure, that makes sense. Stutters, massive stutters. Pick up the family album and leave. But I wanna look around. Where's the Tashanka at? Where's the buckwheat, the newly added buckwheat? Where's the fucking Sprats? The can of Sprats. Come on now. Certainly I can pick up the photograph. No. Condensed milk. Hey man, if I get ten of those, I can turn them in for something, right? I think these guys played a lot of Tarkov. There's a figure in there. I can see him. Walk right up to him and see what's up. Oh, he disappeared. How spooky. So scary. Okay. Grandma. That David Bowie on the front there. Russian nesting dolls. I got a set of those. Yeah, a pair of pliers. Straight from Tarkov. These guys have played a lot of Tarkov. Holy shit. I'm surprised there's not a, uh, a package of uh, milk chocolate cigarettes hanging out. Some Apollo milk chocolate cigarettes. CCCP. Okay. It's not in there. Nice old photographs, man. The atmosphere in this game is pretty nice. This is a, this is a po photo back when there was a, it was a happier time, I imagine. Just open the fucking door, goddammit. 
Oh, yeah, that was fucking creepy. I like that. That was cool. Oh, I fucking blocked myself in. Where's the light? Ooh, eyes. Eyes in the dark. It's too dark. So? Is it going to drive me insane? What's going to happen? Okay. So in here had the creepy body or whatever, the creepy person sitting in a chair. Alright, the bathtub. Come on. Maybe if I flip the uh, breaker thing. Okay. Yeah, it's time to flip the breaker thing. Maybe that'll do it. And then maybe, just maybe... Hey, this light came on now. Okay. Guitar. Missing part. We just need to get the, uh, you know, the, the, oh, here's another key. Fuck yeah. And where does this key go to? Too dark. Maybe it goes to something in here. Maybe we gotta go back over here. Yeah, maybe there's something locked over here. That's a that's a statue of Stalin. What the fuck? Are you allowed to have that? Isn't that like almost the same thing as like having a picture, uh, having a statue of Hitler in your fucking house? It's pretty bad, right? Or am I, or is it different? Okay. So, oh, this is a, I thought this was a door to that. I don't know why I thought it swung that way. Okay. Here, let me just fucking get on this side. Okay, something went snap behind me. I guess that was the breaker flipping. It's closed, so there's a cabinet that's closed. Can I jump? I can't jump. Oh, I picked up a switch, so it's like a puzzle game. So it's like you gotta go one place to another, and then, you know... You gotta go all over the, uh, the apartment or whatever. Oh, okay, so I need to remember to sprint. Uh, how come the light ain't working? There. Shut up in there. Oh, I can see an outline of him now. It probably wouldn't come out on recording. That's cool. Oh, oh fuck. Okay. Uh, that actually made me jump. I like it. I look just like Daniel Craig. What a prick. Okay. So where is the albums? Hey! Get the fuck out, it says. Can I get one of those roaches? Let me get some of those maggots, homie. Now what? Somebody scare me some more. Come on, bitch. <sighs> Where to go? What to do? How to do it? When to do it? Okay. I'm just gonna flip these switches back, I guess. Hell yeah. So this is a camera looking down. Looks like a person standing in the dark right there. 
I like this. This so far, this is fun. I like this. This is nice. Oh, it's got a book now. Dare I look up? Yeah, the eyes are floating now. Objective. Get out. Okay, so I've got the book. Peace out, homie. Nah, I think I'll go in here for a little while. Anything in here? Nothing. Still can't do anything in this room? Wish I had a flashlight or something. That'd be cool. Well, I guess there's only one thing left to do, and that's probably do the final jump scare. Yes! Guts! My favorite! Yeah, I knew that was coming. Well, what to do next? It's still closed. Come on. What's my next clue? Where's the phone at? Um. Oh, this door's bloody now. One-sided peephole. Okay. Shift to run. Perfect. Yes! Let me in! Uh-oh. It's somebody having sex with something. Um, I can't go anywhere else. I can't look at anything else. Okay. What's next? Somebody explain it to me. Yes. Show me something in the mirror, please. Doing a little beat. Do 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 believe do. I need to get the guitar. One sound bite for the guitar. Stop it. Oh, the windows have bars on them now. How interesting. Well, what's next? I don't know what that is. I wonder if these guys ever played PT. You guys remember that? The playable teaser? That uh, code... That... Uh, I almost said Kojima. Konami fucked up and cancelled. Because they're assholes. Can I interact with the radio? No? Oh, it's looking at me. It's following me everywhere I go. Just like Vincent Van Gogh's ear. 
Yeah! Oh, the picture changed. I like it. Show me. I like that. That's cool. I got goosebumps right now, actually. Like, I talk shit. I like, I like how the whole thing's changing all the time. Yeah, I got goosebumps all over. Ooh. Touch me. Shut the fucking door. Fingers, ears, guts. And then a couple of dials. What is that? It kind of reminds me of like fabric, like a me fabric measure, like uh, the flexible tape measure uh, tailors use to, uh, you know, measure your waist and legs and crotch and all that stuff. But it's poorly. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I do, I do understand guts, though. I understand guts and fingers and body parts. I'm well-versed in all that sort of stuff. How come I can't move forward? I gotta turn the light on? Didn't there used to be two lights here? So he's back. Oh, God damn. Maybe I can open this now? Closed. Um, I haven't even mentioned the awl that's covered in blood or the goofy looking screwdriver that's covered in blood because that's the most normal thing about this fucking apartment. So, do I do anything? Oh, maybe I was supposed to pick those up. Oh, it's, they're, they're like dice or something. Or maybe they're just weird tablets. And I'm supposed to go in here with them and use them. No. Not correct. Come on. No, I put them someplace else. Where do I put them? What do I do with them? Where do they go? How are they used? Do I have an inventory? Can I look at it? Will the game tell me? Well, we will never know. Oh, the pot has like guts and a finger in it too. How cool. Okay. Um. Wish I knew what to do next. I'd like to see more. Okay, so I'll go this way maybe. Okay, that light went off, so maybe I'll go this way. His eyes looking at me, yes. The little little creature's eyes are looking all at me. And in the mirror, his head's turned towards me, but in real life, in real life digitally in the video game, quote unquote real life, it's not. Oh, this is locked down here. Hey, I found it. And now I need to find the combination. Okay, so up, uh, uh, W and S move my, uh, mm -hmm. and then A and D, left and right, I'm able to rotate it. Okay, so now I just need to find the fucking symbols, you little bastard. Um, so where are they? You can hide under the bed. I can? Oh, there's a symbol right there. Green uh, lantern, looks like. Okay. I can hide under the bed. So, green lantern looking thing. I wish it didn't glow so fiercely because I can't fucking see what the... 
the hell the things are. I can't like hardly make them out. I almost feel like maybe if I squint. Yeah, well, anyway. Something needs to fucking happen. Something needs to happen. Like, this ghost needs to just take me out and fucking kill me or something because I feel like. Oh, cool. So it's oh, so dark, I can't even see what's going on. Oh, hey. So we got a red triangle or a red flask. Also saw blue in this mirror over here, too. Okay. Thought I saw blue in this mirror, yeah. So it's not over here in real life, but in the mirror it exists. So it's a blue bridge, I would say. So red flask. That's it. And then this is the bridge. I am having so much trouble seeing what this is supposed to be. I fucking hate it. Bridge. This one. This one. It doesn't rotate them. It just like randomly fucking flip flops the motherfucker or something. Oh, it's spinning it the opposite direction than what I thought. Okay, that's what it's doing. So that's where that needs to be, I think. And then I just need to find the yellow. So we're looking for the yellow. Maybe. So all three symbols have been in this room so far. So where is the yellow? Behind the door? That's what I would think. So that only appears when the lights go off, so if I turn the lights off in here, and then look in the mirror, green's down low, okay, hide under the bed again, looking all around, not finding yellow, maybe yellow you're supposed to guess it, maybe that's what it is, like, because if you got the other three colors and you have them in place, Right? Am I right? If I just go through these slowly, it'll just do it, right? By default. It'll click. Nope. I left click to see if it was like gonna do a clicky motion. Hit it again. Hit it again. This feels like this should... No, it did work. Yeah, that was what I needed to do. Unless there was a yellow one someplace. Fuck. I don't know. It's a camera. Hey, I have to turn on the flashlight. Boom. I got a flashlight. Now I can really get out of here. Do I need, even need to turn the, turn the light on anymore? Okay, so now there's blood in the sink and blood in the tub. There's blood on just about everything. I was here all along. Here? F. I really like how it feels. The, the flashlight and as you turn and look around, I really like how that feels. That is done very well. Here, here. I buried him in concrete. Nice. And then there's a rope. F here. Let me out. Oh, here, voice. Now I hear sounds from the dark. Here, the voice in the darkness. I buried him in the concrete. Do you not hear?
Go to the voice in the darkness. Now I hear the sounds of the voice in the darkness. Yeah. Should I turn the flashlight off? Is that what I need to do? This room stinks of a corpse. I like it. Can I get underneath the bed? Well, maybe there's a fucking corpse in one of these drawers. Okay. Hey! And it's closed. There's blood leaking from up there. And this has changed yet again. I like that. That's a cool look. Alright, well, um... I think uh, there may be, I may maybe near the end of this little experience. I'm not sure. I got no way to tell. Um, I am. I've got some extremely mixed feelings about this. I mean, some things are super pleasant and I really, really like it. And some things are, are cheap and cheesy and stupid. So let's read the words of the developer. As you guys know, a Let's Try Out video is a part Let's Play. There's going to be some commentary in here, a part tutorial, you learn as I learn as I play the game, and part first impressions, because a lot of these games I've never played before. And uh, you get to go through, step through all the problems that I step through, and then hopefully we come out the other side learning a little bit. And kind of a part review, because I try to rehash a little bit of my opinions at the end of the piece. After we read the words of the developer, we can try to make a decision whether they're shoveling us a load of bullshit or if they're spot on honest and it seems to make a lot of sense with what they're trying to, uh, the product that they're trying to produce. And if you want to spend your hard earned money on it, because at the end of the day, I'm trying to give you an honest presentation of the first 30 minutes or so of a video game really is. That way we can make a sound judgment on it. So let's read the words of the developer. From the darkness is a psychological horror game with a scary atmosphere. The game takes place in, in an old Soviet abandoned apartment. All the reviews are very positive. Uh, almost 1,500 reviews, actually, very positive since its release date in March of 2021. And this is developed and published by N4BA, whatever that means. Looks like they've made a few other games, horror, probably horror-inspired sort of games. Um, I might check those out at a later date or whatever. And this is, of course, a single-player only game, horror, psychological, indie, dark, 3D, first-person, scary game. From the Darkness is a first-person horror game that focuses on creating fear in the player. Most of the time, you have to walk and explore the abandoned apartment of your deceased grandfather to which you have came for an old family album. For photos, quote-unquote. But strange things begin to happen in the apartment. The one who lives in the darkness will not let you go so easily. Your main task is to get out alive, but this can only be done by meeting face-to-face -face with the inhabitant of the darkness. This game takes about an hour. So that's neat. It's cool that they're upfront about the uh, about the duration. This game is currently for sale for seven dollars on Steam, and if you can catch it um, on a discount, probably the best best way to to be grabbing the game. Wish listed if you're into scary atmospheric horror games like I am. Personally, I think this has done very well for what it is. I don't know if it's quite worth $7 on the whole, but hey, if you bank or if you, you typically bring home a bunch of money, then maybe that's not, you know, not, not nothing for you. But I catch it on Steam sale. I got it on Steam sale um, during the uh, holidays, the recent holidays. So I'm not a big fan of the lack of uh, having options, graphical options to... to Increase or decrease the fidelity or the frame rate or the fucking, you know, the whatevers and the, and the howevers. But this game is so simple that it, it really doesn't require much of tuning at all. And I, I, I do want to point out that the audio volume was pretty appropriate for me when I fired it up the first time. Normally I have to reduce the volumes of the game quite a bit because they blast my fucking eardrums out. Um, but uh, pretty happy with this one. Pretty cool. Very, very well put together little psychological horror thing that's definitely up my alley. That's the kind of scary stuff that I find interesting. And I appreciate this developer. I hope they make a, a lot of a lot more content going forward. And if you're interested in this sort of thing, hopefully you'll see the uh, the benefit in wishlisting it and trying it out for yourself. Tell me what you think. If you know about this game and if I missed anything, 
or if I got anything wrong, uh, challenge my opinions here. Put a, put a comment down below. I'd very much appreciate it. And uh, until the next time, I've been Proto Dead, playing another indie game. Peace. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. And since you're here, why don't you go ahead and leave a like on the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Sound off in the comments below about any other opinions that you might have. I appreciate you stopping by. Subscribe for future content. Share my video with a friend if you can. It helps me out a whole lot. This is Proto Dead saying I'll see you in the future.